Chapter 20, Unveiling the Trap As the group approached the ancient artifact with cautious steps, anticipation hung thick in the air. Argo, ever the curious pug, reached out to touch it, but before his paw could make contact, a searing heat emanated from the artifact, causing him to recoil with a yelp of pain. Oh no! Argo exclaimed, his voice filled with alarm. I've seen this before. It's a trap. Before anyone could react, the wall next to them erupted in a deafening explosion, sending chunks of rock flying in all directions. Through the billowing dust and debris emerged the menacing figure of King Ben, flanked by his loyal followers. The Order's hearts raced as they scrambled to their feet, their minds reeling from the sudden turn of events. Without a moment's hesitation, they turned and fled, their footsteps echoing off the cavern walls as they raced towards the exit. King Ben's voice reverberated through the chamber, filled with malice and triumph. You're the only thing in my way to greatness, he bellowed, his words dripping with venom. As they ran, a crackling spark of lightning shot out from King Ben's staff, illuminating the darkness with its malevolent glow. The Order knew they had to escape and regroup, for the battle against King Ben had only just begun, and the stakes had never been higher. Amidst the chaos, Jack let out a scream, his voice echoing through the cavern. King Ben had sent some kind of attack to hit Jack. Chapter 21, Into the Unknown As Jack's scream pierced the air, Max's instincts kicked into overdrive. Without a moment's hesitation, he dashed back towards Jack, his heart pounding with urgency. Wait, no! Argo's voice rang out, filled with concern, but Max was already racing down a different tunnel than the rest of the Order. Do you think he's going to be okay? Zeke's voice trembled with worry as they watched Max disappear into the darkness. Argo, ever the voice of reassurance, replied, It's okay. Those attacks hurt and knock you off your feet, but he'll be okay unless Ben finds him. But as the echoes of their conversation faded, a series of sharp cracks resounded through the cavern, followed by the ominous hum of energy crackling through the air. The Order's hearts skipped a beat as they realized the danger they were in the Bulldogs were shooting attacks at them from a distance, their malevolent intent clear. Zeke's eyes widened in alarm as he shouted, We need to move. Now! With adrenaline coursing through their veins, the group raced through the tunnels, dodging the onslaught of attacks with agility and determination. Each step brought them closer to safety, but the threat of the Bulldog's relentless pursuit loomed large in their minds. Despite the chaos and danger surrounding them, they pressed on, their bond of friendship and the hope of reuniting with Jack guiding them through the darkness. As they emerged into a dimly lit chamber. Chapter 22, Cornered by King Ben As Max raced through the winding tunnels, Jack cradled in his arms, a group of Bulldogs hot on their heels, Jack winced in pain. Ow, he muttered, that hurt. Max glanced back at him with concern. Hang in there, Jack, he urged, determination etched on his face. We'll get out of this. But as they rounded a corner, their hopes were dashed as they came face to face with a dead end. Max's heart sank as he skidded to a halt, the weight of their situation pressing down on him. It's a dead end. Jack exclaimed, his voice filled with dismay. Before they could react, King Ben's menacing figure appeared at the entrance to the tunnel, his bulldogs flanking him on either side. Max's grip tightened on Jack as he backed away, his mind racing for a way out. It's the end of the line. King Ben declared triumphantly, a wicked gleam in his eyes. I have the map to the Yulam Accords. Max's eyes widened as he saw the object that had burned Argo in King Ben's hands. Anger surged through him as he realized the depth of King Ben's deception. So you took the map to the Yulam Accords and made a replica that you knew we would take. Max accused, his voice tinged with fury. King Ben grinned wickedly, his gaze locked on Max. Any last words, he taunted, raising the object in his hand threateningly. Chapter 23, The Duel 
With King Ben looming over them, his eyes ablaze with malice, Max felt a surge of determination coursing through him. He knew they were outnumbered and outmatched, but he refused to let fear dictate their fate. Taking a step forward, Max squared his shoulders, his gaze locked with King Ben's. You may have the map, but we won't let you use it for your twisted ambitions, he declared, his voice ringing with defiance. Beside him, Jack clenched his fists, his resolve matching Max's. We'll stop you, no matter what, he added, his voice steady despite the fear that gnawed at his insides. King Ben's grin widened, his confidence unwavering. Brave words, he sneered, but words won't save you now. With a flick of his wrist, King Ben unleashed a barrage of dark energy, sending it hurtling towards Max and Jack. Acting on instinct, Max doved to the side, pulling Jack out of harm's way just in time. As the energy dissipated against the stone wall, Max's mind raced, searching for a way to turn the tide of battle. He knew they couldn't defeat King Ben head-on, but perhaps they could outsmart him. Jack, do you trust me? Max asked, his voice urgent. Jack nodded, his eyes filled with determination. Always, he replied. With a shared glance, Max and Jack sprang into action, weaving through the chaos as they dodged King Ben's attacks. With each step, they drew closer to their goal the object in King Ben's possession that held the key to their victory. But as they closed in, King Ben's laughter echoed through the chamber, a chilling reminder of the danger they faced. With every move they made, he seemed to anticipate their next move, his dark magic swirling around him like a cloak of shadows. As the battle raged on, Max and Jack knew that their only hope lay in their unwavering determination and the strength of their bond. With every fiber of their being, they fought on, refusing to back down in the face of adversity. The outcome of their duel with King Ben would shape the future of Pugland, and Max and Jack were determined to ensure that it was a future filled with hope, courage, and the triumph of light over darkness. Chapter 24 Sacrifice and Betrayal As Jack and Max faced the overwhelming power of King Ben, a sense of despair threatened to consume them. Their strength waned, and defeat loomed ominously on the horizon. But just when all hope seemed lost, a glimmer of hope emerged in the form of their comrades from the Order of the Pug. With renewed determination, Jack and Max watched as Argo, their loyal companion, executed a daring maneuver to steal the Yulimacord's map from King Ben's clutches. Their hearts swelled with gratitude and admiration for Argo's selfless act, but their relief was short-lived. No! King Ben's enraged cry filled the chamber as Argo made his daring escape, sacrificing himself to ensure the safety of the map. The sound of Ben's fury echoed off the walls as a group of bulldogs pursued Argo with relentless determination. Despite the pain and exhaustion weighing him down, Argo pressed on, his resolve unyielding as he fought to protect the precious map from falling into King Ben's hands. But as the bulldogs closed in, Argo knew that his time was running out. So, are you going to give that to me, or will I need to force you? King Ben's sinister voice cut through the chaos as he loomed over Argo, his eyes ablaze with malice. I never will. Argo's defiant reply rang out, his unwavering resolve a testament to his loyalty to the Order and the quest to protect Pugland. Very well, then, King Ben growled, his patience wearing thin. You asked for this. With a cruel smile, King Ben unleashed a wave of dark energy, sending searing pain coursing through Argo's body. Despite his agony, Argo summoned all his strength and let out a defiant cry, his voice echoing through the chamber. As King Ben made his escape with the Yulimacord's map in hand, Argo's sacrifice weighed heavily on the hearts of the Order of the Pug. But even in the face of despair, they knew that Argo's bravery would inspire them to continue the fight against King Ben's tyranny, no matter the cost. Chapter 25, Regrouping and Planning As the chaos of battle subsided, the members of the Order of the Pug rushed to Argo's side, concern etched on their faces. Argo. Are you okay? 
Dave's voice was filled with worry as he knelt beside their brave leader. Argo managed a weak smile, though the pain still lingered in his eyes. Yes, it still stings a bit though, he replied, his voice strained. But we don't have much time. With Ben having the Yulamacord's map, we have to find his base and stop him. Nods of agreement rippled through the group as they listened to Argo's words. There was no time to waste, and they knew that their mission was more urgent than ever. We need to figure out where King Ben's base is, Max interjected, his mind already racing with possibilities. He'll want to hide somewhere that we haven't been, somewhere that we don't know much about. Jack frowned, trying to follow Max's line of thinking. What are you saying? he asked, confusion evident in his voice. Max's gaze hardened as he spoke. The wastelands, he declared. It's a place no one wants to go, and knowing King Ben, that's most likely where his hideout is. The group fell silent as they considered Max's words. The wastelands were a desolate and dangerous place, filled with unknown dangers and treacherous terrain. But if they were to have any hope of stopping King Ben and reclaiming the Yulamacord's map, they knew they had no choice but to venture into the heart of darkness itself. Chapter 26 The Weight of Uncertainty Gathered together in a solemn circle, the members of the Order of the Pug engaged in a serious conversation about the daunting task that lay ahead. Fear crept into their voices as they discussed the possibility of failure and the dire consequences of King Ben's victory. We can't ignore the gravity of this mission, Argo began, his voice tinged with concern. The wastelands are unforgiving, and King Ben's power knows no bounds. We must tread carefully. His words hung heavy in the air, casting a shadow of doubt over the group. Each member shared their own fears and uncertainties, grappling with the enormity of the task before them. We're risking everything, Max added, his tone grave. But if we don't try, Pugland will be lost forever. Despite the weight of their apprehensions, the companions knew that they could not falter in their resolve. With a shared sense of purpose, they reaffirmed their commitment to the mission, knowing that the fate of Pugland rested in their hands. It won't be easy, Jet remarked, his voice steady with determination. But we've faced challenges before, and we've always come out stronger. We have to believe in ourselves and give it everything we've got. With a renewed sense of purpose, the members of the Order of the Pug stood tall, ready to confront the dangers that awaited them in the wastelands. Though uncertainty loomed on the horizon, they knew that together, they could overcome any obstacle and emerge victorious in their quest to reclaim the Yulamacords and defeat King Ben once and for all. Chapter 27 The Unexpected Obstacle With their resolve fortified and their spirits uplifted, the Order of the Pug set forth on their journey towards the dreaded wastelands. Each step forward was a testament to their determination to reclaim the Yulamacords and thwart King Ben's sinister ambitions. As they ventured deeper into unfamiliar territory, the landscape began to change around them. The lush greenery of Pugland gave way to barren expanses and jagged terrain, a stark reminder of the dangers that awaited them ahead. But just as they began to find their rhythm on the journey, disaster struck. A sudden rumble echoed through the earth, causing the ground beneath their paws to tremble violently. Before they could react, a deep chasm split the path before them, blocking their progress and leaving them stranded on either side. Panic rippled through the group as they assessed the situation, realizing that they were faced with an unexpected obstacle that threatened to derail their mission before it had even begun. We can't cross this, Zeke exclaimed, his voice tinged with frustration as he peered into the gaping chasm. It's too wide. Argo furrowed his brow, his mind racing with thoughts of how to overcome the obstacle. We need to find another way, he declared, his voice steady with resolve. We can't afford to let this setback deter us. With determination in their hearts, the Order of the Pug set out to search for an alternative route. Knowing that their journey was far from over and that they would need to face whatever challenges came their way with courage and unity. Chapter 28 Into the Lava Lands 
As the order of the pug delved deeper into the harsh, unforgiving terrain of the wastelands, they were met with a sudden change in climate. The air grew thick with stifling heat, and the ground beneath their paws radiated with intense warmth. Before they could comprehend the shift in environment, they found themselves surrounded by small rivers of molten lava, snaking their way through the rugged landscape like veins of fire. Man, they should have named this place the Lava Lands, exclaimed Zeke, his voice filled with awe and trepidation as he observed the fiery streams. Jet wiped sweat from his brow, feeling the oppressive heat bearing down on him. Is it going to cool down any time soon? I'm burning up, he complained, his discomfort palpable. Argo nodded grimly, his eyes scanning their surroundings with a sense of urgency. We have to keep moving forward, he said, his voice tinged with determination. And we have to keep our eyes peeled to find their base. Who knows what traps they may have laid for us in this treacherous terrain. With each step forward, the companions braced themselves for the challenges that lay ahead, knowing that the path to victory would be fraught with danger and uncertainty. But with their unity and resolve unwavering, they pressed on, ready to face whatever trials awaited them in the scorching heat of the lava lands. Chapter 29 Trapped As the order of the pug forged ahead through the searing heat of the lava lands, their senses heightened, alert for any signs of danger lurking in the rugged terrain. Suddenly, without warning, they stumbled upon a concealed trap, hidden amidst the rocky landscape. Before they could react, the ground beneath them gave way, triggering a cascade of boulders and debris to rain down upon them. With shouts of alarm, the companions scattered, seeking cover from the onslaught. But the danger was far from over. As the dust settled, a menacing figure emerged from the shadows, revealing itself to be a formidable construct, crafted from the very earth itself and animated by dark magic. With a roar that reverberated through the air, the construct lunged forward, its massive fists swinging with deadly precision. The companions sprang into action, weapons drawn and ready to defend themselves against the unexpected assailant. The battle that ensued was fierce and relentless, each member of the Order of the Pug fighting with all their might to overcome the formidable foe. But the construct was relentless in its assault, its sheer strength and resilience posing a formidable challenge to the companions. With each passing moment, the odds seemed increasingly stacked against them. But the order of the pug refused to yield, their determination unshaken even in the face of overwhelming adversity. As the battle raged on, the fate of the companions hung in the balance, their every move a testament to their unwavering courage and resilience in the face of danger. With unity and determination, they fought on, knowing that victory would only be achieved through unwavering resolve and steadfast determination. Chapter 30, The Battle Unfolds In the blistering heat of the lava lands, the Order of the Pug found themselves locked in a desperate struggle against a monstrous construct. Each member fought with unwavering determination, their every move a testament to their courage and resilience. The ground trembled beneath them as the construct unleashed a devastating barrage of attacks. Max, caught in the path of destruction, narrowly avoided being crushed as the construct's massive fist pounded into the earth where he had stood just moments before. With a deft roll, he evaded the blow, adrenaline coursing through his veins. Jet and Zeke fought side by side, their movements fluid and synchronized as they launched a relentless assault on the construct's towering form. Their strikes found their mark, weakening the creature with every blow. Meanwhile, Dave and Jack provided support from a distance, their ranged attacks keeping the construct off balance and unable to focus its attention on any single target for too long. Their coordinated efforts proved crucial, buying their comrades precious moments to regroup and strategize. But the construct was relentless, its sheer strength and resilience pushing the companions to their limits. With each passing moment, the battle grew more intense, the air thick with tension and the heat of their exertions. Finally, after what felt like an eternity of fierce combat, the construct faltered, its movements slowing as cracks appeared in its stony exterior. With a final, decisive blow, the companions brought the creature crashing to the ground, defeated but not destroyed. 
Breathless and battered, the Order of the Pug stood victorious over their fallen foe. As they caught their breath and surveyed the aftermath of the battle, Argo's keen eyes caught sight of something amidst the wreckage a sturdy iron door, half hidden beneath the rubble. It's the Bulldog's base. Argo exclaimed, his voice ringing out with triumph and determination. This is it, comrades. Our chance to put an end to King Ben's reign of terror once and for all. With renewed purpose, the members of the Order of the Pug rallied around Argo, ready to face whatever dangers awaited them within the confines of the Bulldog's lair. The time for action had come, and they were determined to seize the opportunity to bring peace and justice back to Pugland.